Well, welcome to Hope Today. I am so excited that you have tuned in because I believe there is encouragement, there's edification, and there is hope that is available just for you. So get ready, lock and load, ready your weapons because great things are getting ready to happen for you. I'm J. Anthony Gilbert alongside the incomparable Pastor Amy Schaefer. Good to be back with you. Jay, great to be with you in that big, deep voice that you have. Come on. You know, God uses broken people with broken hearts and lives to bring healing and salvation to a broken world. In Turning Sorrow into Joy, Pastor Kent Christmas details how to fulfill God's purpose for your life despite your story and encourages readers that God has a plan. He will fulfill it in his time. You know, Jay, so many so many people in the Bible that we read, the men and women of God, we love their stories of faith. Amen. We love their stories of victory, but we forget about sometimes the incredible struggle, the incredible yeah. discouragement, the incredible despondency that they went through to experience that great sweet victory that they found because of faith in God. So today I think is gonna be a great sort of like awakening for all of us that God can turn our pain and that sorrow into joy. And that's so important that we understand that there's a process that we all have to walk through to get to progress. And by watching today's program, you're gonna learn how God can turn your brokenness into healing, adversity into blessings and despair into victories. It's gonna be a phenomenal time of encouragement just for you. And on tomorrow's Hope Today, we're gonna to be having a special edition, guess what, of Stump the Viewer, not the host, but yes. the viewer, to commemorate Cornerstone Television's 45th anniversary. And watch this, everyone who participates and guesses the correct answer will win a prize. And not only that, but only one randomly selected person who guesses correctly will win a $45 gift card. You gotta love that. That's once again on tomorrow's edition of Stump the Viewer on Hope Today. That's brand new to my knowledge, so I think that's gonna yeah, be kinda cool. I like that because the pressure it takes the pressure off of us stumping the host yeah. back onto the viewer because they're sitting there, they're watching us and they're judging us, Jay. That's right, they <laughs> sure are. <laughs> and we know that you've missed a couple of those stumps. Well, I had my moments, <laughs> but you know what? I think the deck was stacked against me, to be honest with you. I, that's just my take from it. But we go but listen, you've got to get a chance to get in on that. Get that $45 gift card, get in on, see, test your own biblical knowledge right. and see if you can come up with the right answer. Let's it's going to be fun. It. It's, let's get on with this incredible show that we have today. Our next guest is a pastor and author who knows what it is like to feel rejected and defeated. He also knows how God can turn heartache and betrayal into blessings and victories. Pastor Kent Christmas is the author of the book, Turning Sorrow into Joy. And he joins us now to share how God has a purpose and plan for you, no matter your circumstances. Pastor Kent, welcome to Hope Today. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm thrilled to be with you. It's great to have you all the way from Nashville. I know that a lot of people in my church are always you know, texting me your services and clips from prophetic words that you have, uh, bringing them to my husband and I's attention. So we thank God for you and your ministry and your church and what, and you're really your voice to the nation. Thank you, Amy, thank you. It was an uh, honor to, oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. I didn't want to interrupt you there. Okay. Well, it was an honor to read your book, your new book, and really your life story. You dug into every detail. And just, you know, here I'm on the tail end of your, well, not the tail end of your ministry, but, you know, decades later from when you begin the story. But... Um, Go back to the beginning. What, what, what did life look like for you? Well, you know, it, it started off really good uh, as, a, as a, a child. And then, you know, obviously in my book, I tell the story when I was 12, my father, who was 38, died unexpectedly. And boy, it seemed like that just precipitated um, just a chain of events. And, you know, it's difficult for a child to lose their father. And um, yeah, I think it altered me 
you know, changed my personality. I became reclusive and, and um, books became my best friend. Um, and I, as, as you get older, you find that, you know, pain, I, I know this, that uh, pain is tied to purpose. And, uh, you know, a lot of times in the infancy stages of our life, we don't have clarity as to what God's calling us to do. And we'll think the events that we go through are just random, but they're not. The Bible says the steps of a righteous man are ordered by the Lord. And God will put us on a path that um, is filled with a lot of adversity. And, and you mentioned at the beginning about some of the great heroes that we read about in the scriptures. But you'll find that every time you get around somebody who really impacts people and has an anointing on their life, there is a hidden story of personal loss, personal pain that they've gone through to get there because you cannot be used by God in a powerful way until self is broken. Mm -hmm. And boy, you know, the only way we die to self is through the cross. And it's not a one-time thing. Jesus said, you have to carry your cross. It's a daily thing. And so um, I'm not sure if retrospect, if the Lord would have told me everything I had to go through to get here, uh, if I would have said, okay, let's do it. I might've said, maybe you need to pick somebody else. And so I, I think that's why God doesn't let us see what we go through, but he gives us the strength to make it. No truer words have ever been spoken. And can you just take us back to a couple of key moments of adversity in your life where you just thought this might stop right here from me moving forward the rest of my life? Can you take me to a couple of those stories? Well, you know, as an adult, um, I'm a late bloomer. You know, I've been... Uh, in June, I'll be preaching 53 years. And uh, I never really saw any success, I guess, what men would define success as far as ministry. It seemed like everything was always hard. And I think part of that was just so that I would learn. Uh, this is what I know about serving the Lord. Jesus has to be enough. This is why Paul said, nothing can separate me from the love of God. So, you know, you're asking me about events that may be defined uh, or you felt like I uh, can't go on. One of them was um, when my first wife, um, you know, messed up and fell into adultery. And uh, that, that just about killed me there. That was one of the hardest things I ever went through in my life. But it also, um, you know, I, I quit preaching. Uh, I never quit serving the Lord, but, you know, you can go through things that um, that just gut you out. And I, I know this, that when God is getting ready to retool who you are, I never moved in the prophetic until 35. I was 35, I think, and I had come out of this divorce and. Um, God had moved me across the country. I wound up homeless. I slept in my car and um, just as low as you can get, lost everything. And uh, I was seeking the Lord, trying to get out of those holes. But God, when God's getting ready to do something new in your life, don't be surprised if you hit a wall. Mm. And it's almost like God will shut down what you've been doing to prepare you for what you're getting ready to do. And um, when, when I finally came out of that time in my life and began to feel a stirring, that's when God began to, to put on me the mantle of the prophetic, it never raced around it, didn't know what it was. And so it was new to me, but I had reached a place that, that I had complete trust in the Lord. And so that, that, was, a, that was a very difficult time. Um, my my youngest son was born over three months premature and uh, stayed in the hospital for three months. And when he was born, we, we had a horrendous uh, medical bill. We had no health insurance. Um, we were so broke. Uh, we had our electricity shut off 
uh, twice. We had our phone shut off. And this was in a time that me and my wife were giving 50%. God challenged us to give 50% of our gross income. And that's why we were in such a struggle. And uh, when we came out of that, uh, God raised up my son. He's 30 today, and, and he's healthy. He's never had an operation. Everything the doctor said did not happen. God paid the medical bills and loosed a realm of faith in us. But that was a defining moment. Um, mm -hmm. When uh, two years ago, we had another blow, my 43-year-old son, who God had really done a great work in his life delivering him, <clears throat> uh, several years ago from homosexuality to the point he lived with a man. I watched God turn that boy's life around and completely deliver him, restore his masculinity. He got married, he had two children. He was preaching the gospel when he died. And to uh, preach my son's funeral, and it was a defining moment that you can't question God, you just gotta trust him. And so, I think over the years, these moments, you can't feel the pain of other people till you feel the pain of yourself. And uh, I think maybe one of the greatest lacks in modern ministry in the pulpit today is we have too many men that have never tasted defeat mm -hmm. and don't understand mm -hmm. the pain of the sheep. And uh, to be successful in God, you got to have compassion. Prophetic people that don't have compassion are dangerous. Yes. And to be able to move in that realm with the love for people is very important. I'm doing all the talking here. I apologize. No, uh, it's so powerful. When did these moments of pain and sorrow, wh when was the shifting when they started to turn into joy? Well, you know, coming uh, through the divorce and winding up, you know, it's early 30s, um, single again. Um, uh, God supernaturally let me meet a woman that, you know, I thought when I got married, if I got married again, you know, probably uh, would have to settle for much less than what I wanted. And, and God allowed me to meet a, a wonderful lady. She'd never been married before. And here I was, you know, broken, divorced, and basically unemployed, and had an eight-year-old child, and and uh, we just celebrated our 36th year anniversary, yeah. and that 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 turned into joy. God, if you will let God, He will take the most difficult times of your life, and He'll flip them, and you just got to trust Him, and so. You know, in every instance in my life, that's why I wrote this book. I, I didn't want to focus on the, the dark times. I wanted, I want people to know uh, whether it's death, divorce, loss of a child, bankruptcy, it, it doesn't matter. Your ministry doesn't work. If you will stay true to God, I'm living proof that God will not forsake you and he will come through. And if you humble yourself under the hand of the Lord, he will exalt you in due season. And so I can, I can say with great victory, you know, we, we pastored for years and it was a small church and um, I did everything I knew to do from advertising and, and different things. And we could not make our church grow. And yet here today, um, our church is very large and we have an international footprint. And you know, when I step onto that platform now, because um, of all the stuff that I've been through, maybe the age that I'm at, uh, there's nothing in me that says, look what I did. It, it, I know unequivocally when I minister to, to large crowds and to our church, just the mercy of God, just the hand of God and uh, it's very easy to give God the credit for what we have today. So beautiful. Um, I want to fast forward a, a decade or so to the year 2020. And years before, your wife, who has the best name ever, Candy Christmas. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you can't beat that name. No, that's God's sense of humor. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a joy. Um, she said over you that you will be a prophet to the nations. Can you take me to that moment at the return in 2020 and the prophetic word that you gave that really 
blasted your name and your ministry into millions of homes? Well, when, the, when my wife told me that, we were dating. And so that, you know, that was 35 years before it ever happened. I thought, you're crazy. And, um, you know, we had the, the invitation to go to the return hosted by Jonathan Kahn and Kevin Jessup. And I told my wife, I said, I'm not going to that. I'd been to a couple and I said, it's just symbolism without substance. And she said, no, I really believe that God is going to have you give a word. And so I went uh, with one of my wonderful uh, friends, Burton Gar. And uh, we were there for a couple of days, and they had me on the docket for the last day and the, uh, the last of the day, in fact. And uh, as I'm standing on the backstage, there, you know, there's just a, well over 100,000 people on the mall, and I don't have anything. I mean, God is crickets. And I, uh, I texted a guy, said, this is either going to be really bad or really good because I have nothing. And uh, I thought, well, I'll just go out and pray. And uh, when I when I put my hands on the podium, boy, the spirit of the prophetic hit me, and God began to just come out of me. It was just a roll. And they had told me uh, beforehand, and you know this about television. They said you got five minutes, and if that light goes red and you keep going, we'll turn off your mic. So <laughs> I was very cognizant of staying within my time frame and. They said I went four minutes and 20 seconds. And what's odd is what I did that day was normal for me. I, I didn't think I had done anything extraordinary. And a lot of times when God's going to catapult you into another dimension of exposure, you don't realize it. And mm -hmm. I went home. I thought, well, you know, God, thank you for the word of the Lord and for not letting me fall on my face. And uh, not realizing that that moment was God unveiling my ministry to the world. And so it, it you know, it took a few months, but all of a sudden our church, um, we went on a, on a December 27, 2020, uh, our church had stayed small, 100 people. And it was Chris, two days after Christmas, and I told my wife, I said, you know, we'd be lucky if we have 40 people today. It was snowing, there was ice on the ground, it was, you know, close to Christmas. And I, I got to the office early, and my wife came in about 9.30 in the office, and she said, what in the world's going on? She says, there, and I said, what do you mean? She said, the church is packed. An hour before church, um, God began to prophetically fulfill what he had promised us. And uh, from that moment on, our church started growing by 100 people a Sunday. I, I still don't have any explanation. We weren't on TV, we weren't doing anything different. And it's morphed into what it is today. And so uh, when it's time, you just have to trust God. So, you know, the seasons of our fruitfulness vary with the individual. Some people, they maintain the body of Christ over 30, 40, 50 years. And then there are other people like John the Baptist, God will just raise up for a season. And so would I have liked to have had success for all of those years? Yes. But oh my goodness, I found the side of Jesus uh, in intimacy and relationship in all of those years um, that I wasn't successful that keep me grounded now. Kent, that is such a beautiful, powerful story. And I know it's just blessing so many people that hear it. This, this past Easter, 2024, somebody sent me a link to your church service. I thought, you know, I'm just going to watch it. It was the day after Easter. I was just kind of decompressing after a busy weekend. And I'm listening to it, and your wife gets up before you preach an incredible message about the kingdom, and she says, we want to welcome you from Illinois. You're here from Connecticut. You're here from the North Pole. You're here from Australia. I mean, she, yeah. wow. country, state after state, and I was wow. like, how good is God? Can you take a minute? Well, and, oh, go ahead. We, you know, it's strange. Um, we're still not on, on national television, and then, then we live stream. Uh, we're getting ready to, to be on national television with our church, but uh, we average 100 countries every Sunday that watch us. Uh, 
Our church, it's very unusual. We have a tremendous amount of people that move to Nashville just to be in the church. And we probably average about 20 different states that show up every Sunday just to to be able to partake of the service. So I just kind of just smile and, um, you know, and I think only God could have done this. Pastor, will you just take a minute and just pray for all of those that are watching, that are hearing your story, they're feeling discouraged and in despair, and, and they need to see that joy and that breakthrough that God has shown I will. you. I will. God, Lord, you feel the pain of people. Lord, I just, oh, in the name of Jesus, God, go through the camera, get in the homes of these precious men and women, the brokenness that they feel. And I pray, God, that you would lose hope in their spirits. Give them the strength, God, to get back up. Lord, weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. Rebound the word of the Lord in their spirits. Hallelujah. Yes. God calls your servants to begin to feel the, the inspiration of your spirit. Holy Spirit, drive out every attack. Let physical healing, Lord, begin to flow through their bodies. Lord, give them the strength to believe that their children are coming home. Marriage is going to be healed. And I thank you, Lord, that you never forsake us, that you are a present help in time of trouble. Open their eyes to see, God, that the best days of the church are yes, ahead of yes. us. And God, we give you praise and we give you thanks. For Lord, you are a God of great compassion and we lean on thee in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Pastor Christmas, thank you so much for this incredible book, Turning Sorrow into Joy, a journey of faith and perseverance. We bless you and bless your ministry and bless Candy. Thank you for having me. God bless both of y'all. God bless you. Uh, we'll be right back after this break. God is calling you to do something significant in the earth for him, regardless of your age, skill set, or perceived limitations. What's holding you back? When you give to support Cornerstone Television this month, let us bless you with Rick Renner's life-transforming book, Chosen by God. Every page will help you overcome your limited thinking and follow God's plan for your life. Rest assured, God has a plan, and He will thoroughly prepare you to fulfill it if you'll say yes with all your heart. This book will thrill you with the possibilities that await because you are chosen by God. Request your copy when you give by calling 888-665-4483 or donate online at ctvn.org slash donate. Thank you for helping us spread the gospel through life-changing programming like Rick Renner, Hope Today, Hard Questions, and more. To keep your favorite programs coming and receive Chosen by God, donate today. Well, such a powerful interview that we just had with Pastor Kent Christmas. And listen, I believe that there are people watching right now that you are in the middle of one of the heaviest <coughs> battles of your life, that you feel forsaken, you feel down and out, you feel downtrodden, and you're wondering when are things going to change. Let me encourage you just for a moment. I believe even on April 8th, the Lord spoke to me that we are in a day and an hour and a season where it is post-eclipse and pre-eclipse, that we are in a turning point, and I believe you have tuned in because you have been in the middle of the process, and God wants you to know that you are not forgotten. Mm -hmm. He knows your name, your email. He knows exactly where you are, and his eye is on the sparrow, and he is watching over you, and that you are getting ready to have a head-on collision with supernatural favor in your life. God's about to turn your sorrow into joy, and if you are battling right now, and you're saying, I need a miracle right now. I need God to step in right now. I want you to pick up that phone and dial 888-665-4483 and say, this man of God, Pastor Kent Christmas, was speaking to me. I feel the pain and the sorrow and the agony, and I'm in need of a supernatural breakthrough. You know, mm -hmm. Pastor Amy, I really felt the Lord spoke to me that when this eclipse hit, mm -hmm. that there was a prophetic shift that was going to happen, even with him coming on, yeah. sharing all the things that he has been through. There are people that are in line with un for un natural yeah. 
yes. supernatural yes. favor coming into their life. No, is it? I mean, what a great illustration because it's like life looks like this one day and it just seems like discouragement, Come discouragement, dis sorrow, pain. And then all of a the sudden there's this moment Come and on. you feel like you are in the dark. You feel mm. like this is not going to, I'm not going to mm. come out of here. I can't make it. I can't, I can't live another day. I can't take it anymore. It hurts too bad. And all of a sudden that sun starts to come poke on, through come on. and the goodness of God. Here's the deal. God is faithful. God is good. Like on, he is them. good to the core. Yes. Goodness and mercy will follow you all the days of your life. And, and with long life, you're going to be satisfied. Everything your hand touches is going to prosper. There are so many promises of God and those promises are yes and amen Come in on. your life. You've got Come to on. believe it. It doesn't matter what you're seeing with your natural eye. You have to believe by faith. These promises are mine and I promise you, the sun is going to break forth. Mm. There's going to be a Come new on. day. Come There's on. going to be new mercies. You're going to see again, live again, love again, breathe again. And I truly believe that this is not just a, a, a statement, but the best is yet to come. Come on, Pastor Amy. And I believe that even if you're watching right now, just as Pastor Kent went into that service during the holidays, during the Christmas, he said it was two days after Christmas, he said it's only going to be about 40 people and didn't realize this was the moment that things are going to begin to change. And I believe even right now, you need to mark it on your calendar, April 10th, that this is the moment that God is bringing a shift into my life. He walked in, said the place was completely packed and they started adding 100. He doesn't even under, understand, doesn't care can't even explain. I'm telling you, you are coming into a time of unusual, supernatural favor. You cannot quit. You cannot throw in the towel. Peter, stop washing your nets. It's time to launch out into the deep. What if this is the day? What if this is the moment that your children are coming home? What if this is the day and the hour that your marriage is getting ready to be healed and the, the business is about to explode, the ministry is about to go to a whole different platform? What if this is your moment? I believe that you're in your time and season and moment right now. You need to lift up your hands right where you are and begin to give God the praise for, as Pastor Amy mentioned, that your best and your blessed days are yet to come and are on you right now. Just declare right now, this is my now moment. God is turning, turning your sour into joy. Go get them today. Your best days begin now. On tomorrow's Hope Today, are you ready to rise and shine? Prophetic voice and speaker Mary Shalhoub helps you to conquer the inner battles of the mind so that you can align your mind with Christ and live out your God-given dreams with joy, confidence, and purpose. That's tomorrow on Hope Today. Cornerstone Television wishes to thank all our faithful viewers whose consistent prayers and financial support have made this program possible.